My mother Dolly Sachs was just about the busiest person I have ever known. We lived in Seymour Road in Hackbridge and then in Wood Street. My mum was a local music teacher. If she wasn't teaching, which she did for 75% of the day, she would be putting on shows. My mum would have children coming to her for music, and if they were at all interested in singing and dancing, she would pull back the carpets and mats and have them tap dancing or singing and encouraging them to do as much as they could. She would put on really good little shows and raise money for the church hut. She had two pianos and would have two lessons going on at the same time. One of those pianos was the piano she got when I was born, because it was a quiet piano, and that is the piano that I still use today. When I came home from work, the first thing that I would do would be to take my mother in a cup of tea, and she would immediately say to me, oh, would you mind having whatever the child's name was, and giving her a go on the piano. She doesn't quite understand it. If you did that, it would really help her. Then she would say, oh, you must be hungry. I'll come out and get you something to eat. Yes, carry on practicing, she would be saying to the child. Carry on practicing. I can hear every note. And she could. And suddenly she would, back, she would shout out, No, that's F sharp, not F natural. And the children used to be amazed how she knew. My mum was quite incredible. Music was her life. She would start as soon as she got out of bed in the morning and go on teaching, if necessary, until the last one went at night. She never advertised and she was bombarded with pupils from morning to night, not only children but parents as well. They would come in the evening and sometimes I would come in at 10 o'clock at night and they would be there having a sherry and having a thoroughly good time, but that was mum. Her pupils loved her. My mother was still teaching at the age of 85 when she very sadly had a stroke. She was an incredible woman.